Hi there, good morning. Hope you're all doing okay. It's Friday, so you've made it pretty much through another week of lockdown. So um, the weekend to look forward to, to kind of wrap up, be kind to yourself and, um, you know, tick off that, yeah, we've achieved another week. So we've talked a lot about isolation during the lockdown period. And um, I know that's a big issue for some people. And we've talked about various tactics around getting through that and using technology to make sure we stay in touch. But on the other side of that, there are people that are almost in despair that actually they're in company for so much more time than actually they're used to, whether that's with um, a spouse or parents and um, close family members, and you're all thrust together for this time period and you really can't escape it. There's no um, disappearing for lengthy periods of time to go shopping or go meet friends or go out for long periods of exercise, whatever it is that you have typically made your distraction. And with an eating disorder, there's a lot about the way we live our world when we're entrenched in an eating disorder, which is about secrecy and you know deceit. And so that can be quite uncomfortable sometimes, being around people and feeling so much more exposed as you will be during this time. The other thing that I think we really need to focus on is not making comparisons. So because we're thrust into a situation of being around people all the time and we might see what they're eating in a day and what level of exercise they're doing, we must be really careful that we're in our own eating disorder recovery. We've got our own path to follow and whatever anybody else is eating, it's really not not anybody else's business but their own. It's so important that you keep eating to the level that your body and brain need to restore itself. Judging your calorie intake and you know your level of nutrition against someone else's is just, it, it, it doesn't make any sense and it will do you no good at all. It's counterintuitive for recovery. And I know that's really hard. Um, even when you go out with friends, um, you, know, you might have been sat at a restaurant sometimes and had in mind that you were actually yes today i'm really going to order that hamburger and then your friend orders a salad and suddenly you're judging whether your food choice isn't as virtuous as it should be well you know we could be into this lockdown period for really quite some time and that means sitting down with people for meals for a prolonged uh, amount of weeks or months and equally seeing what someone's eating all day um, throughout the day just remember that this is your individual journey Everything you go about doing in the course of the next few weeks and months should be aiding that recovery, not in any way setting you back and entrenching you further back into those bad behaviours of eating disorder. This is a real opportunity for you to focus on your health and your well-being. Yes, by all means, enjoy the time. And that's, you know, that's really important. Lockdown isn't great for so many reasons, but if you are with family and friends and a partner that actually you've not spent an awful lot of time with because we're all so busy working ordinarily, enjoy that time, have quality time with them, but do not let eating dis disorder behavior and thoughts come in between you all. Enjoy once more being around a dinner table, eating, laughing, finding reasons just to come together during this really peculiar period and find a way to conquer those thought processes around whether you are eating more than you might have wanted to do a week ago, a month ago. Every step you take towards nourishing your body further is a step forward in gaining your life back and putting an eating disorder behind you. So keep going with that and just remind yourself that comparison is not your friend right now. I hope that's helpful.